Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today we're going to be talking about Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex First Assault, which is a free-to-play first-person shooter published by Nexon. Now, back in December when this game went into early access, I made two quick videos, and then it seemed like I never went and touched the game again. And to be perfectly honest, that is pretty much the truth. And the reason why is that First Assault, we're going to go and drop the whole Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex shit. We're just going to go with First Assault. First Assault is a a game that was that was very 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 flawed at its core and the reason why is the game was not optimized it did not run very well on a lot of systems now my rig is perfectly capable of going and running a lot of games for example I can go and run crisis free at 1920 by 1080 at medium the higher graphics and get a solid 80 to 90 frames per second very 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 playable and then to my surprise when I go and hop in the first assault and I am getting 20 to 30 frames Frames per second on 1920 by 1080 at low graphics. I know something is a little bit astray. So the record those videos actually had to go and drop my resolution. Had to unplug my monitors, my other side monitors from my graphics card, and make it focus completely on my main monitor. And then I could barely get. 40 to 50 pr frames per second at the lowest possible quality in order to go and push out a video. And I knew from there that this game was fatally, fatally flawed. And it was not a fun experience for me to go and play a game where I could barely go and get enough frames per second to make it even playable. And so I let Nexon do their thing. I let Nexon go for a couple patches. I went on a holiday. I come back. And then, oh, it's so fantastic. I hop back in the first assault, and then I'm getting a solid 200 frames per second. And I don't know what you did next into your game, but it works. It works now. So the performance issues are completely gone, for me at least. And hopefully that is for a lot of people as well. So that means I can actually go and record footage, which is a really, really nice thing. Yes, there are FPS drops. Yes, it isn't perfect, but it's a lot, lot better than the first, first stage of when it was actually released in the early access. So let's go and move on to the gameplay. Is the game actually fun to go and play? And to be perfectly honest, this game is the epitome of a generic free-to-play first-person shooter with, you know, a brand attached to it. It has the shell of first-person shooter games that we have seen many, many times before. War Rock, Combat Arms, Operation 7, etc, etc, Black Shot, whatever. All these games have the same movement, the same shooting mechanics, but in this case, you have the addition of the Ghost in the Shell universe, which is pretty cool. You have the operatives, you have the maps, the modes are, you know, very generic, and we see them in other first-person shooters as well and same you could be said for the weapons so overall it's just a bit of a paint job and it really doesn't go and grasp the uh, Ghost in the Shell world like I really really wanted it to in the anime and in the films and whatnot they really have an emphasis on playing very 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 tactical but it seems like this game has just boiled down to a team deathmatch shooter and I sound disappointed and I am to an extent, but they can do stuff with the Ghost in the Shell universe in other video games. Because First Assault was never meant to be a tactical first person shooter. It was meant to be a game that you go and download to go and play with your friends or whatever. It's a very, very small download. You hop on for 15 to 20 minutes when you have some spare time. You go and shoot some people. You go and use the cool abilities and th that's it. It's not a game where you go and grind and grind and grind and there isn't too much depth to the game where you have to go and master mechanics. It's very simple just to go and run around and shoot people and go and capture the objectives of and whatnot and that is not a bad thing by any any bad I'm not trying to go and paint this game as a bad game I'm just saying it's a mediocre game but it serves its purpose and it serves its pur purpose perfectly now the fact that anybody can really go and run it the system specifications are so so easy to go and meet that you could have your mum uh, your grandmother's shit box hop into the game no problem, go and shoot some people, fairly easy to go and unlock some weapons and whatnot, and there you go, you're gonna go and have some fun. And First Assault goes and does its job absolutely perfectly, and I know when this game goes into full release, there will be people in the review section of Steam going saying, wow, this game is really, really shit, it, this game X, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and this game Y, Call of Duty, blah, blah, whatever, it's so, so much better, and 
Yes, it's so much better because the production value, the development studios, and the budget are so much more higher. And this game goes and fills a niche that a game, let's say, Crossfire. Crossfire is a game that has low system specifications and the quality of gameplay is okay, but it's not really that well. I would say, actually, Ghost in the Shell, Ghost in the Shell, Standalone Complex, First Assault. Damn, why I keep saying the full name again, but... This game has better gameplay than Crossfire, and it will go and fill the hole for North American plays in that if you have a bad computer in that you just want to go and maybe play once in a while, then this game will become the new Crossfire, and that's absolutely fantastic. And I think that's all that really needs to be said. First Assault is a okay first-person shooter, but it does its job absolutely perfectly. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go and give it a like rating. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, out.